Welcome back to this lesson about the solution of nonlinear equations using open methods. In the previous videos, we introduced the neutral robson method and the secant method as two methods to uh, search for the solution of uh, the equations we have. In this video, we'll start introducing uh, what's called the modified neutral robson method, which is uh, a, a way to get to run away from uh, evaluating the slope of the function at each iteration. Uh, as you remember, the Neutrosum method depended on the uh, depended on the evaluation of the function and its slope at each iteration. Now we want to uh, run away uh, from that. Here, uh, the problem is uh, uh, you need to get an equation of a line that approximates uh, that approximates the behavior of the function uh, at the point you are working at. Uh, if we uh, obtain the, uh, if we remember from basic calculus that the slope of the function is defined as the limit as delta x tends to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. This is from uh, calculus 101. Uh, so now this is the exact value of the derivative. If we remove this limit thing and we say, okay, uh, to get the exact solution, delta x has to be uh, infinitesimally small. How about if it's finite, but it's still small? In that case, the slope is not the exact value of the slope, but an approximate value of the slope. We can just use this right away into our Newton-Raphson method and remove the slope that was in the denominator uh, replace it by the approximation. You notice here this looks so much like the secant method. Uh, uh, you have an evaluation of the function and an evaluation of the function at a point near it. The word near is the keyword in that differentiate the secant method from the modified Neutrophson method. Here, this delta x is the key. How much should delta x be? Uh, should I use it uh, uh, a 1 or a 5 or a 29? Uh, I don't know. Uh, should it be a, a percentage of the value of x? Maybe a 10%, 1%, 1 over 1 million? Again, uh, that's not a definite uh, number. However, uh, from different uh, experiments, we will find that uh, a point 0.1, a 1% 1 is quite okay. Uh, we pay uh, the price of getting an approximate value for the slope to avoid evaluation of the slope, which is in many practical problems impossible to find. So uh, let's have a look right away now at the program uh, to make things uh, clear. Let's go uh, to uh, Octave. Uh, let's go to modified neutral Raphson method. Uh, here you are. Let's clear the console and have a look at the problem. Now you start with an, an initial guess, just like the uh, neutral Raphson. Uh, I didn't mention here that this is or this code is already uploaded on uh, GitHub. You can download it from uh, the link below the video. Uh, in the Academy of Knowledge uh, website. Uh, now, again, back to the program, x1 is equal to minus 1. That's our initial guess in order to be able to compare it with our uh, previous programs. Uh, again, the tolerance and the maximum number of iterations, that's what we always have in our programs. And we initiate the counter and the error. Finally, we get to the body of the loop. Here, we, what we do is we evaluate the function at the value of x we have. Then, we determine the value of this small delta x. Uh, if f of x is not, e uh, sorry, if x is not equal to 0, the unlucky condition, then we take a 10%. A 10% change in x will provide us with the delta x. If it's equal to 0, then just put it as 0 0.1. Now we get to evaluate the slope. The slope will be what? It will be, uh, uh, sorry, uh, this is not the slope. This is f of x plus delta x. So here we are. We replace the x 
by x plus delta x, of course, the negative sign is due to the negative sign that's already there in the function. Now, the slope is the difference in the function over the difference in x. That's it, straightforward. This is the approximate value of uh, the slope. We, go, we use the approximate value of the slope to evaluate the next best value of uh, x using the newton Raphson method. And then we do what we always do, check uh, for uh, evaluate the error uh, in case the error, uh, in case x2 is not equal to 0 and in case x2 is equal to 0. Then we check whether we got the right solution, extremely lucky case, uh, the error, uh, if it's less than the tolerance or the number of uh, iterations is more than the um, uh, number allowed. Uh, if all this is, uh, if any of this is true, then we just get F1, uh, the new value, and a break. If it's all not true, then we put X1 equals X2 and get back to the evaluation step. Uh, let's run the program. You will find that we got the solution in only five uh, evaluation, which uh, which seems to uh, be better than the Newton-Raphson method. Of course, it is not. It uh, it's because of the arrangement of uh, the evaluation of the functions. Even if it is, it's just one uh, step better or one iteration better. It doesn't make it way better, except in the fact that we did not evaluate the slope uh, at any point of uh, our solution. Uh, which brings us to comparing the modified Newton-Raphson to the secant. In the secant method, we only needed to evaluate the function once. Here, at the modified Newton-Raphson, we evaluate the function and the function at a point near to it. So we do two evaluations. Uh, as for this, uh, the, the secant seems to be better. Uh, but uh, uh, most of the codes use Newton-Raphson method because it's uh, um, what, uh, straightforward. At every iteration, you do the same. Uh, many uh, codes that you will write for practical problems, uh, you can add both methods. You start maybe with uh, modified Newton-Raphson to get quickly uh, to uh, near to the solution, then switch to the secant because when you are near to the solution, the secant method and the, neuter, uh, the modified neutral raphson are almost exactly the same. So why evaluate the function twice? You just use the secant method and proceed from there. Uh, these uh, uh, tricks uh, are uh, mix and matches between the different methods to help you uh, find the solution in a faster way for different uh, problems. So uh, now I hope that the modified Newton-Raphson method is clear. Uh, uh, now we are ready with all the tools we need to solve uh, the problems for uh, single variable problems. Uh, however, in many, 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 many practical problems, engineering or scientific problems, you always need to, uh, to find a solution for a problem that has more than uh, uh, one independent variable. That's what we're going to introduce in the coming videos. Uh, we will use Newton-Raphson method. Then we will use the modified Newton-Raphson method to find the solution. Uh, and uh, I hope by the end of this lesson, you will uh, be able to use different methods to solve different problems finding uh, the solution. So see you next video for finding the roots of multidimensional functions.